Right, well this part is part two of importing hard drive files. So uh, again, there's still a couple of different ways you can do this and um, we we'll talk about what they call the lazy way really to do it is, is via the build database dialog. Now I only recommend this if you're doing uh, MPEG-3 types um, because uh, if you if you're doing karaoke, it, you you haven't got any um, uh, any way of altering how it lists them in your songbook. It will just list them, and that will be it. Uh, but MPEG-3s contain ID3 tags, and it will get the uh, the data from the ID3 tags, so they usually list all right. So in this case, I'm going to import some uh, a new MPEG-3 disk, which is on I've got now. This is a list of all the files that are imported, so it will add it to there when when I've imported it. Now, first of all, I'm I'm going to set a number for it to start importing at because I like mine in a certain order. So you could now click next, and then that will um, so the next it will call it a twenty thousand five hundred be the next one for me, right? Now then, um, you add the file. If I like the MPEG three that you must do that have the type the type of uh, file you're looking for in this folder must be highlighted there otherwise it, w it won't find anything then you add the folder so I've got to scroll to this um, music folder and then this is a list of most of all my music in but this is a new one so you open that till we see all the uh, the titles there then you select you get a few warnings this this scans the selected folder below and index all the songs with your selected types which is the mpeg 3s also this will add the selected folder with at least one song to an included folders list which was is in this list here that's the actual uh, one I'm importing now just telling you see press OK and it was scanning for MPEG threes, you see, and then songs found. Boom! Got 17 songs added to the songs database. It's, it's as simple as that. And then you should find that as listed in this list here. So um, uh, be uh, there. We are. There it is. It's in that list there. And if you highlight it, you'll see it. All the songs that are in that folder are in in this window here so they are now listed in in my songs database so they could easily be searched for um, so I know that it's starting from 20,500 so the first song will be 25,000 20,501 just if I wanted to check it but um, or I can just search for one of those titles um, for instance, dumb, that's an easy one, isn't it? Right, so we close that, close that window, and then if I was to go search here, put in dumb over there, D U M B, and uh, just search for audio so it's not finding loads of others. And there it is there. So that with the num with the number that I selected. So if I was to double click that, that would go into my uh, song list, and it would play as normal from there. And there it is. So that's uh, that's the what they call the um, easy way of doing it. Right. So we've. Uh, after the easy way is the um, the index song files. Now this gives you more control over how it names the files in the list, and um, 
there's a couple of ways again there's, uh, there's, there's always alternatives with Foster here so you've got you can import them as KMH and I'll explain that a bit in a minute or KMAs now KMA is it actually converts the file to its own to Hoster's own format but you'll get you'll get another file of equivalent size as the one you're importing so you're going to use twice as much um, hard drive space now with the KMH the advantage of that is it will just add a small header file uh, into the folder with the songs and not use hardly, it, hardly any extra disk space and plus you can still use those files in any other uh, programs Windows Media Player or any other uh, DJ programs you might have they're still available for, you, for use in them so um, in this example I'm going to uh, Im import some uh, KMH MPEG-3Gs so you first of all you select the type select the MPEG-3Gs and uh, browse to a folder now this is uh, right, a legend folder now most of these I've already got on my hard drive anyway because this is um, from an existing folder of mine so I'll select this folder and you'll see that it, uh, it, it lists a few in the top window here now these are ones which I haven't imported probably because I've already got them um, equivalents of in another brand uh, so I'd save on hard drive space I didn't import them now if I was to untick the hide, the hide index tracks I would get another look it would show every it would probably it show every song that was in that folder but um, if you tick that it'll only show you the ones what haven't been imported now the thing with this is you have to get the defined field order right for it to um, import the discs properly now I'll try and explain this now if you look here you got um, a disc uh, IDs so there's only one song what wasn't imported from disc legend 100 and it was track 11 then if I, in legend 101 I had I hadn't imported 02 04 or 06 so we do a sample on that one so if I highlighted that now if I would have to put in what you should do if you want to uh, have all the original disk IDs listed in in your book you have to um, say right disk ID in that first window now if you look there that separator there's no spaces between it so you put a separator in no space and then you got your track so select track then you got the uh, the artist which is four tops after after another separator which has got space in it so you pick a separator with the space in then we put the artist name and then uh, another separator which is um, with a space and then title And hope now if you've done this right and you press the add files it will list the, the files that match that here uh, it lists them in the right order so it puts the four tops there and you'll notice it's only put the ones for uh, disk ID 101 and the disk ID has come up here in legend 101 and uh, the track numbers are there now if I was to import them it's already given me a, a book ID because that that 101 um, legend 101 disk ID was in 
track it was in a book ID of 956 so it's already recognized that and allocated me the right number so if I wanted to import them I would um, select that and then you could just press the index files and it would load them into uh, your database now if you're not too bothered about having all the uh, um, the original disk IDs you could could import all these on a single um, book ID number each book ID can only have 99 tracks by the way so if I set that up different and I set it to ignore for the uh, book ID put the uh, separator in as it shows there without a space and then put the uh, tr tr put the track number in but put it as ignore don't put track put ignore for the next item and then that's a space there and then the artist again and then and then title put the add files in see what it does right now it's listed them all but it's given it an XYZ uh, disk ID an unknown brand so right you change that to legend and type something in and it, and it uh, so you can have it as a brand legend but you don't know you can't have uh, the disk IDs won't be correct all you can do is you could change the XYZ to LEG and then it, and and see if it accepts it which it does but the book ID for this will be no 985 and the first track will be 98501 98502 and so on and this one would go up to 89 tracks there was already and you so you would then uh, you could set any of these other things if if you like like the uh, genre and all this sort of thing what you prefer although they can always be done after now you can import videos in the same manner you can import the mp3s in the same manner but the mp3s as i said are easier to import the other way because they, they generally contain their id3 tags but so basically you you pick the way you want to type of you want to um, import as a kmh or kma and then mp3 zips or windows media audio with graphics bin files wave folder the karaoke types audio would be, be those types but you must select the right type for it to find it in the folder and then they will list in your database and be searchable i hope that's uh, helpful to anyone who's uh, having trouble understanding the import procedure.